So the 180 degree rule states that when shooting a scene, you only place the camera on one side of the subject. And the motive here is to help the audience understand the orientation of your characters in space. So let's demonstrate it by breaking the rule first. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. How long have you been out here? I'm not sure. Well, I was gonna go get some food. Do you want to join? No, I'm fine. Well, all right. And we feel how disorienting this scene is. We're not really sure where our characters are within the space, and we're losing the rhythm of the conversation because they keep changing sides of the screen. So let's make some corrections and get all the cameras now on one side of that 180 degree line. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. How long have you been out here? I'm not sure. Well, I was gonna go get some food. Do you wanna join? No, I'm fine. Well, all right. Okay, now that feels a lot smoother. We have the forward-facing establishing shot, then the consistent over-the-shoulder shots, both of which help us orient our subjects in the space. Now, the 180-degree rule doesn't mean we have to shoot in front of our subjects either. We can actually move the line to place all of our cameras on the other side, on the back side of the line. We can also re-establish the 180-degree line through camera movement. So in this case, our pan shot is going to reset our orientation. So now our 180 degree line moves from behind to in front of our subjects. So in all cases, really the 180 degree rule is a helpful guide that's going to help you and your audience, but it is one that you can play with in very creative ways.